Undocking confirmed. We confirm mechanical. At 2.21 a.m. Central Time, 3.21 a.m. Eastern Time over the South Atlantic, the Soyuz MS-19 begins the journey home. A Russian Soyuz capsule left the International Space Station overnight. As you see there, two cosmonauts and an American astronaut, Mark Vandehei, back on Earth now. The Soyuz landed in a remote area of Kazakhstan, ending a record-breaking 355 consecutive days in space for Mark. That's the longest single mission for an American astronaut. Now, NASA hopes to get humans to Mars by 2040, a round trip that would take a total of three years. That has scientists in many different fields working on ways to keep astronauts self-sufficient and healthy. A team of UC Davis is part of those efforts and meteorologist Heather Waldman joins us with what they're working on, Heather. Well, in two words, they're working on space lettuce. We're all told to eat our leafy greens. Those foods are high in iron and vitamin K and other nutrients that can help support strong and healthy bones. And bone loss is one of many challenges of lengthy space travel. That's because spending long periods of time in microgravity tips the human body's natural cycle towards bone decay rather than bone growth. Researchers at UC Davis are working on genetically modifying lettuce plants to produce a special protein that contains a hormone that's already commonly used on Earth to treat bone loss. If astronauts can grow their own treatments, they won't need to worry about a supply from Earth expiring. If it is produced in lettuce and if it is can be de delivered orally, if not, then at least they can purify and create their own uh, so that they don't have to rely on the supply from, from Earth because uh, again, a resupply is nine months. Lettuce is already being grown on the International Space Station. It's a good mood booster and it provides some variety in the astronaut's diet, which is mostly prepackaged food. And if this idea works in space, then it can work on Earth too. This is not only going to help just the space travel. This is going to help anything we can develop, grow and get in a very low resource condition. Nandi and his team are currently testing to see how much of this protein different lettuce plants can produce and which may be best to send to space. But again, this is a technology that could one day be used here on Earth, too. I'm KCRA meteorologist Heather Waldman.